As you've probably noticed, we haven't seen many changes throughout this forecast, and unfortunately, that's probably not going to change anytime soon either as we talk. Right. Storm Team 10's Kevin Orper did some digging, and he explains why the weather is so hot and so dry. With temperatures in the triple digits and the entire region under moderate to severe drought, many of you are asking, why is this happening? Well, the answers are very complicated, but they can be summed up into a few simple ideas. First, the water in the eastern Pacific has been cooler than normal, a condition called La Nina. La Nina tends to bring drier conditions to the eastern United States. That's one of the reasons we didn't have much snow this past winter. Secondly is a thing called positive Arctic oscillation. This year, Arctic oscillation has kept cold air farther north than average, which is one of the reasons we had such a mild winter. La Nina and positive Arctic oscillation both work to keep the jet stream well to our north, each contributing to our current hot and dry weather. The sun is another possible reason. Solar cycles and droughts tend to run roughly in 20-year cycles, so the fact that this is the worst drought since 1988 should come as no surprise, since it fits within the general pattern of solar cycles. So there we have the basic components that are creating our hot and dry summer a warmer and drier than normal winter, a very active sun, and a jet stream well torn north. Put them all together, and that's the reason it's hot and dry. With photojournalist Mike Latta, I'm Kevin Orr.